Hey y'all, look this lipstick combination is giving me uh, mid 90s vibes because it's, you know who it is. It's purple on the outside, red in the inside. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, that's a little bit better. So, uh, I don't see how y'all are doing it with multiple kids. And look, I'm bold enough to say that out loud to people I see with multiple kids. So young kids. I'm like, I don't see how you're doing it. I do not see how you are. He getting on my nerves. And I just got one. So you guys, my hair. This is the result of the... Adawa Beauty review. I have that review up right now. It was okay. The definition is still on point, but this is just the next day, so we're good. Um, I mentioned on my community tab a while back. Well, girl, I'm getting doing things out of order. We're gonna talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I've been watching on YouTube, and what I've been watching on TV, which is a bunch of foolish foolishness. So, personal life, uh, everything's going well, really busy at work which is good because this means stability um jp is doing well with homeschooling we're not doing as much because i'm so busy at work which is i'm okay with that i really am he's still learning and that's all that matters okay um this coronavirus hole is out of control because people just want to be ignorant and um one of the cities in my area has lifted up the mask mandate i know crazy scottsdale arizona you don't have to wear a mask and so with the holidays coming up, you know, I was talking to my um, neighbor, Miss Lori, and her granddaughter didn't have hardly any assignments last week. And she's doing virtual at JB's old school. And I told her, I said, you need to get on that teacher's neck. <laughs> yeah. No, I said, it must be the teacher. It's not necessarily the school, but perhaps the teacher. So anyway, y'all. Um, my best friend was texting me how difficult it's been with virtual for her children. I feel for you guys. I really do. Um, I say just do what you can. I mean, honestly, at this point, something going on with me hormonal, y'all. I, I have experienced hormonal issues before, but I think it's stress related that it's affecting me overall. Um, I know a couple of y'all told me and um, I don't know which video I mentioned it whether it was a chit chat or a vlog that my cycles have been all over the place ever since the pandemic hit and this past last cycle I was crampy I mean I was cramping like my, I was in my early 20s and highly fertile like really crampy very heavy cycle like I was when I'm in my early 20s I'm like I just turned 40 and what the hell is going on so I don't know like I said if it's a mixture of hormones cycle you know uh, due to stress or what when I went to the dentist last week the dentist was like is there something going on with you physically have you been on any new medication I said no why she's like well because your teeth are bleeding a lot more you know do you have something going on hormonally I'm like well yeah there's been some things going on and so she wants wanted me to make sure that when I do my Wells Women's that I speak to them about it but I'm pretty sure I know this is all stress related you know what I mean and for when I understand I did my little Google research you know reached out to Google and it seems like a lot of women are sharing in that that their cycles have been um Th their cycles just have not been uh what am i trying to say y'all the cycles just have not been consistent they've been off schedule yeah so girl it is what it is but along with that my hair has been shedding like crazy so you have your normal shedding you actually have a cycle where your hair sheds but with me when i wash my hair i look down my hands are covered with with hair when i am setting my hair in a style i look down and i have a little a little gerbil like a small little hamster when i'm detangling my hair a small little hamster so again that could be due to hormonal that could be due to stress too but i will be incorporating yet again these are green tea bags i'm sorry y'all i could get a belt i could get a switch I've been doing tea rinses and I will be filming this for y'all. Um, I would highly recommend you check out Discovering Naturals video. Hey girl. And also um, 
Whitney's Natural 85. She has a great video. Those two people I would recommend for, because I'm not no guru. I, I just follow other people for advice and then I do what I can for my hair. But I will be doing, um, filming for y'all a, uh, videos specifically on how I do a tea rinse and so this will be my third time doing a tea rinse and I know it is my no noisy ass na neighbor hey damn near 45 years old with this muscle car like grow up man I know that's his hobby but y'all y'all I'm, I'm so petty so anyway shady but I have a lot of hair so um, I'm gonna really take my time this wash day and really detangle my hair. I set those loose two strand twists y'all and I found one just there like two weeks ago. So that twist had been in there for about two months and it was locking up and I'm, I must have missed it. All these weeks I missed that twist. It was like somewhere in here. That's a damn shame. So anyway enough about that um i have another video i have scheduled for y'all in december like 40 things i've learned by 40 because i told y'all i think i know it all now that i'm 40. <laughs> i don't like this coloring y'all but it is what it is i'll try to fix it when i um load it up if i don't oh well all right y'all what i'm watching on youtube um i haven't really been watching anyone y'all but i have <laughs> this is so silly i did make a playlist just for hallmark movies because clearly i don't have a life and that's what i'm going to be doing in december so a video that i did come across um is by passion jones and it says let's chat i'm polly now, I believe I saw a picture of her and two men. She was in a, a posing with two men and it was shared in a wife group that I'm in on Facebook. And at first the comments were, you know, this isn't true. She's a well-known YouTuber. And I know she's known for her hauls because she's a plus size, you know, diva. And so a couple of people are like, you know, this isn't true, you know, yada, yada, yada. Well, she came out with a video last month that's basically like, yes, I am Polly. Um, she basically has, well, she's married and then she has another man. Wow. Girl, look, whatever floats your boat, but I barely have enough energy for one man. How the hell am I gonna, like, are you serious? So this is the, y'all, this is her. I'm like, wow, so, that is very interesting now i don't know to be poly that's separate isn't that separate from being a swinger that type of lifestyle there's a lot of swingers out here in phoenix and i actually worked with a couple of swingers i just find that this type of lifestyle it's a lot of work in my opinion a lot of energy i would think it would be a lot of energy and exchanging that energy with two additional people that's just a mess and so there were a couple of comments in and uh, you know a couple of people stated what i had been thinking is that you know the people these people who were commenting basically said um from their experience the folks they know they were in poly relationships they never lied so, you know um like i said whatever floats your boat but i be damn not in this marriage and he better not be thinking about having no other At least he's laughing. So yeah, y'all, I saw her video. Let me see, who else am I watching? Nobody else really. Um, y'all be surprised. I really don't watch um, hair videos, y'all. I have been watching people play Sims. I did mention this in my vlog, but specifically D Sims is her name, series going on. So I was watching that. Let me check my history to see. Yeah, a bunch of Christmas, a bunch of Christmas movies. I'm gonna watch Holiday Heart again. <laughs> With Vince, with Vince Vaughn, Holiday Heart. Um, I did, girl, I've been watching Gordon Ramsay's Kenji Nightmares again, binge watching those. But that's about it, y'all. I really haven't been watching any YouTubers like that lately. But TV, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. So, and also, y'all tell me who y'all been watching on YouTube. I've been watching a new series called Ambitions. And what am I watching that on, y'all? Hulu? I think I'm watching it on Hulu, and it has Robin Gibbons, fine ass Brian Ro Brian White, Essence from um, Half and Half, 
and a couple of other pe people y'all this series it gives me young and restless like it's like a soap opera almost y'all this series makes me want to like rat on my on my neighbors or something you know what i mean I hope y'all think I, I hope y'all know I'm kidding seriously anyway so it's very interesting and like I'm on episode 13 of season one so a ambitions so again it's called ambitions on Hulu I told y'all I had to stop watching that Lovecraft country but I did come across a video on my YouTube feed and it was the little girl D was escaping from some demons with pigtails when I tell you that was the scariest shit, I said, oh, I stopped watching this just in time. No, ma'am. I'm not going to, not when the Met, 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 uh, Mercury retrograde Gatorade is going on too. I'm, I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. Watched a movie on Netflix, a scary movie called My House. Loved it. Enjoyed it. It was scary. JB and I watched that together. Um, started to watch a movie with Keanu. Mm. Fine ass cunt Keanu Reeves called Knock Knock. He up here being a a a, a daddy daddy hoe. Y'all, I need to get it together. Um, saw one of those B rated B rated black movies called Fall Girls with Amara La Negra. Y'all, it just badly written, badly acted, but I loved it. I watched all of it. I may watch it again. <laughs> So we started to watch last night Jingle Jangle with Forrest Whitaker and um, uh, Mrs. Hustable, Huxtable. Y'all, I can't get it out. I also added Half and Half on Netflix with Rachel True and Essence again. Rachel True is absolutely stunning. Do y'all realize? I think she's over 50. She played in The Craft, the black girl from The Craft. And she attributes her youthful look to being a uh, vegetarian. Um, she looks absolutely stunning in my opinion to, to be, you know, over 50, 50 plus. So that is what I've been watching, girl. I did watch real quick on YouTube. Let me backtrack. I was watching Shay Johnson from... Oh my God, this girl is so, she stay, she try to stay relevant and I have to give it to her. She has, now Shay is a reality star. She was on I Love, not I Love New York, Flavor of Love, like season two. Then it was like Charm, Charm Girls, whatever the hell it was with Monique. And then she was in Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Love and Hip Hop Miami. So now I guess she's on Ayana Fix, Ayana Fix My Damn Life because she has issues with her two brothers and her mama, right? So I started to, to catch the beginning of it. And I'm like, I'm not going to be able to, to do this because I still feel like she's doing stuff for, for a meal ticket. You know what I mean? I just feel like, is she being genuine or... Yeah, I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it. I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna be able to do this. So, oh y'all, before I wrap up, I wanna show y'all some products that's coming up too. Um, hair hair reviews. So besides the green, green tea rinse, I do have the Adawa deep conditioning treatment video. I know y'all really can't see that that's coming. Um, I purchased a bio infusion curl pomade. I've been looking for this thing for years, y'all. And she's been on Amazon this entire time. Now, this was the Walgreens brand. Again, it's called Bio Infusion. I used to wear the hell out this jar. And it reminds me so much of Jane Carter's Curl Pomade. But it's a different, it's white. That Jane Carter one is yellow. But this would give me the best best bang and twist outs definition this is made with um soy what is this no i'm thinking of something else sorry uh paraben free no sulfate so i purchased it on amazon it took forever to get here too so design essential sent me two products they sent me their honey curl forming custard with honey and chamomile and they also sent me their avocado excuse me almond and avocado curl enhancing mousse now they sent me two of everything so i will be having a giveaway i think i'm gonna do a flexi rot set next year next year next month um i just put up the methy c fenugreek oil for my hair y'all saw that i still have some so i will be using it still and yeah y'all that is it um let me know how y'all doing so that is it y'all i will check you on the next chit chat bye